What's up, y'all? So, we are back for another episode review of Black Ink Crew. This is season six, episode 15, I think. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all already know the deal. When I'm in my car, the steering wheel is gonna get in the way. Um, until I can get another uh, mount for my car. But anyway, Black Ink Crew, season six, episode 15. First of all, I got an attitude with the next episode already because this damn Nikki done popped her ass back up and evidently gonna be having some type of beef with Kathy, okay? And I'm like, oh shit, here we go with this shit. Um, but anyway, let's just get into the episode. Now, Donna, let's talk about Donna first, okay? So Donna has been pregnant this whole time. And the, the pregnancy was an atopic pregnancy where the fertilized egg plants itself outside of the uh, uterus it, it implants itself outside of the uterus and it caused her to be really really sick and she ended up having to have some of her reproductive system excised okay and I'm gonna tell y'all anything like that for a woman that shit is just traumatic i don't care like what the situation is to know that you were carrying your baby and something happened and you won't get to carry your baby to term and birth your baby and hold your baby um it's that's that's just a terrible terrible feeling so I'm sorry for that, for Donna, you know. Um, and it was cool to see that Mo was being real supportive. Everybody else was being supportive of her. And I hope, I hope maybe now that things have changed like this for her in her life, that she'll just start to take better inventory of her actions and, you know, just maybe just try to change her life a little bit you know because like i said it's just real traumatic and when things like that happen in your life as, as a lady it just makes you totally look at life differently so hopefully donna is doing much better and i hope that she's able to move on and you know just not take it too too hard although it's it's tough to not take it hard as we saw on the episode because she was just really really emotional over it which is totally understandable so that was donna let's talk about let's talk let's talk about sky okay and kathy sky wants to I guess get on this journey to um, stop being so fucking wacky. So she decides to hook up with Kathy, which is Richard Duncan Pender Hughes's one of his baby mothers. We know what's up with Kathy. We know her well, and we haven't seen her in a while. But apparently she has taken her life in a different direction and she is now a spiritual healer okay so that's cool um my homegirl actually does that whole thing and it's actually dope you know when you sit down and you learn about it i want to learn more about it that's not my calling but <clears throat> Shout out to my homegirl because she is like all the way in that shit and she be knowing what the fuck she talking about. So 
that's what Kathy's doing. And at first, I was like, here we go with this wacky ass shit. Not because the spiritual healing stuff is wacky, but Sky's ass is wacky as fuck. And I was just like, man, here we go again with some more hairbrain ass shit for Sky to do to really to divert attention from what she really need to be doing. In my opinion, I am O. I think Sky needs to get her ass off of this show. Like if she want to do the spiritual healing, then cool. But get off of Black Ink Crew and go do your shit. Do your work. Okay? So, um, she visits Kathy twice. The first visit was cool. And Kathy was like, it's just, this just is like a preliminary type of visit just to get a sense of what's going on. And Kathy brought up that Sky is carrying around guilt and shame which makes perfect sense so uh she go and then sky goes back for another visit where they doing yoga and shit that was cool but um kathy also told sky you know you need to just let go let it go and i have to agree just you know if you're not going if you're not going to do what you need to do right now to develop that relationship with Genesis, then just let it go because you clearly need time to revamp yourself and just um, get yourself together. So that makes sense for now. Just, just let it go. And maybe time will help you out. Uh, what else? The the Jew, the fat. Uh, oh my God! What is his name, y'all? I think Caesar said the fat Jewish is his name. I'd never heard of him before the show last night. I think I may vaguely remember seeing something about him at one point, but he got all of these. Um, got like 10 million instagram followers and he decided to post some on instagram where he said if this post gets over 10 million likes or no gets over a million likes i'm gonna let y'all pick a meme for me to get tattooed on me and i'm gonna let y'all pick where Whew. um okay cool he's 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 a social media personality so i guess i get it it wouldn't be me <laughs> it definitely wouldn't be me because i don't even think i would want to be that huge on social media but anyway c says he's down to do it okay but at first the dude was like it's gonna be on his dick like it was gonna start from under his fupa guys don't have fupas but it was going to start under his fupa and extend to the tip Ugh. like uh uh but it turns out that he was just fucking with him so that was cute you know for the show a good ha ha kiki for the moment mm -hmm, okay so Caesar ends up doing this other little tattoo of a frog on like a unicycle i think something like that then walt man they had okay no first let's talk about teddy teddy is trying to raise money for his brother's legal fees because his brother has been at rikers or was at rikers um for i think he said like four years or four or five years and hold up y'all sidebar i'm gonna tell y'all something watch some documentaries on rikers island that shit um what was that um the khalif browder story girl uh-uh that shit is just inhumane but anyway um so he's raising money for legal fees 
So he has this shoe release called the Rux, the Ted Rux with Patrick Ewing. And that's dope. I actually like the shoe. The shoe was really, really cute. Um, it reminded me like of a throwback from when I was in high school. And um, the shoe just was real cute. They light up and everything. I like the colors. Um, I like the simplicity of the shoe. And that's cool. I like the shoe. It was That was dope. So they decided to have a sneaker release party and the party went well overall but for some reason Walt got splashed I mean just like you could tell throughout all the clips that Walt was drunk as shit and Walt decided to go in on Tati and earlier on in the episode Tati mentioned how she just wasn't feeling the greatest she was feeling kind of down because she was having issues with her mom her mom wanted her to instead of doing what she was doing wanted her to go to school like college and shit so she had an issue with that and she just mentioned it you know and Walt flipped the fuck out on her about that um, clearly Walt is going through something for him to just pick that out of the air to have an issue with. Um, so fast forward back to the, the shoe release party. Uh, he, he approaches Tati and is like, cause Kit was the one taking all of the pre-orders and Kit left the party. So Walt approached Tati and was like, what the numbers looking like? How we doing? And she like, I mean, we good. You know, what's up? <laughs> and Walt is like basically treating her like, well, you should know. You the manager in training. Why the fuck you don't know how we doing? But <laughs> Walt, Walt, first of all, Put the brown down, okay? Put the brown down and leave her alone. What are you doing? Like, why did what? I just think Walt found somebody to pick on because he needed to vent and he just decided he wanted to start some shit. Um, so they're going back and forth, and he like you supposed to be the manager in training so you supposed to know and Tatiana she like I'm good I got this like what the fuck are you doing it's assistant manager like what are you doing and honestly I didn't even know that that was Walt's position so <laughs> I'm just saying Walt was wrong and then Tati <laughs> Tati shoves Walt, Tati shoves, sees, and she knocks some shit out. <laughs> she knocks some shit out of Kevin's hands. <laughs> Hold up, the look on Kevin's face though. I was done. <laughs> um, and she storms out of the shop. Okay. So sees is like, yo, Walt, you ain't have to be, you ain't have to pick on her like that. And Walt is trying to justify his actions by telling C's X, Y, and Z. And then Walt says some dumb shit to C's. And C's was like, nah, don't even, we not even going to do that shit, Walt. Like, come on, come on, yeah, let's just go outside. So Walt gets outside and is hollering and screaming about, don't nobody understand him. Don't nobody know what he going through. And... I mean, I, I wish we could see more of really what's going on with Walt because ever since we saw the situation with Walt and his mother and then like he, it was some stuff going on with his kids. 
we haven't seen too much more about Walt. So I'm wondering maybe on the next episode if that's what we are going to end up seeing. But also in the previews for the next episode, we see Walt um, crying about his something about his kids. So I don't know. I just think it, to me, that's one of them situations where I think Walt is probably going to go back and apologize to Tati because that's one of them situations where that liquor done pumped you up and you go off and you act the ass and then once you realize what you did you feeling sorry and you go back and um apologize i hope he does apologize to tati because that shit was that shit wasn't right <laughs> for him to just be like bitch you should know the numbers what <laughs> nah young get the fuck out of here leave me alone So, um, and then just some little last minute shit that was just, you know, classic black ink crew shit <clears throat> at the beginning of the episode, <clears throat> this damn dumbass Teddy talking about something y'all ever had y'all bitch wipe y'all ass child, please. That is some nasty ass shit. If I didn't shit you out of my lips down there, I'm not wiping your ass. It's just as simple as that. If it ain't my ass and it ain't my baby's ass, child, please, you got the wrong motherfucker. I ain't wiping no ass. I ain't wiping no ass. Wiping no ass. I ain't wiping no ass. <sighs> um, yeah, so. And then Caesar said, when Sky came in and said she wanted to get her spirit cleanse or whatever it was she said that's when C's was like yeah that's that shit where you gotta get your, your ass cleaned out <laughs> um Bay was trying to overcharge Bay was trying to charge everybody 300 and they was 140 and Bay was like look I'm a hustler I'll flip that shit let me handle this Teddy um so that was the episode y'all in no particular order um and i something i like about black ink how they you know because a lot of times they just be sitting around partying bullshit but when i see them doing that just sitting around kicking it with each other it reminds me of how me and my friends that i grew up with used to sit around and kick it and talk shit and drink and smoke and talk more shit watch movies laugh at that shit um joan on each other talk some more shit order some food from the carry out you know what i'm saying into the wee hours of the morning and we had some really good times so that's what seeing all of them together reminds me of sometimes so anyway y'all that was black ink crew new york season six episode 15 i'll leave all the episode information somewhere where y'all can see it all right y'all take care and i will catch y'all in the next video